What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steve Nasentoski here of Maze and Brew, bringing you another Michigan basketball highlights video. Maybe a little bit less analysis. Last one went like 24 minutes. If you haven't checked that one out against Oakland, scary, scary game for Michigan. This one against Ball State was not quite as scary as that past game. Uh, but Michigan ends up winning 84 to 65. Really good game from Livers. Franz has a bounce back. Dickinson continues to improve as a true freshman. Transfers showed out well. Let's get into the highlights. Let's break it down. All right, so start of this one, Franz drawing a foul here on the drive. He was getting started early. Another nice drive here. Really nice little fingertip layup here. And then a feed here from Franz down to Davis, who just feasts on that spin move, right? Davis just showing out there. Here's a nice steal from Mike Smith. Franz with the and one off the nice dish from Smith there. And one finish being strong with the ball. Here's a nice highlight of Mike Smith with this. He plays with such a great pace, Mike Smith does, and just a, a well-timed pass to Franz, showing some emotion here. Here's some earlier highlights of Franz. He was struggling earlier in this season, the first two games. Here he has Michigan's first seven of nine points in this one. Really nice to see. Here he is, a little nice hesitation, drawing a foul. Uh, that's huge, right? He's getting started early. It's good to get that confidence back for him. Um, and then here's Mike Smith just showing that speed on the left side there. A couple baskets for Ball State here. Nice little shot over Franz from number one. Him again on the drive here. I think that was Wagner. Or uh, Yeah. And then you have a, a turnover here for Livers on the dunk. Uh, can't give him the ball like that. He'll make you pay for it. I don't know why the resolution on this play is so bad, but Dickinson just puts this guy on a slip and slide. I mean, you watch... You know, nice bounce pass. He's got a couple guys coming to help. Really good job from him. And just watch this guy just kind of sputtering over the court. <laughs> just feel bad for him there. But um, so Dickinson comes in the game, automatically makes an impact, uh, makes this guy, forces a moonshot out of this guy that he uh, actually gets in. But overall, Dickinson's impact is huge. Mike Smith continues to impress on offense to me. Um, Love this play from Johns here. Fights for the rebound, finds Brown backside, cutting to the basket, who puts in the basket. So really good hustle play from Johns there. Um, and then Smith with just a nice mid-range jumper. Strong move here for Johns. No way this is an offensive foul. This is called a charge. He doesn't push off with his hand or anything. I don't know how you call this a charge. Michigan's been at the wrong side of these calls pretty much all season. That's just a, a bad one in my opinion. Um, here's Shondi Brown with a nice little floater off of uh, a missed shot there, and then you got uh, Brooks able to knife through right here for a basket, finish right at the rim. Good job from him. Brooks on the other side needs to do a little bit better here, right? He's giving this this drive up to uh, uh, to number one again, and uh, Dickinson on the other side. All his tipping game is just elite, and he's shown that time and time again. Uh, affects this shot on the defensive side for a uh, rebound for Franz, who's bringing it down, finds livers in transition, uh, hits that. And he was on fire the entire game. I'll show his stats later on, but Livers was just making everything in this game. Extremely efficient uh, throughout the season thus far. Uh, miss from Shawnee Brown. Here's Dickinson again doing his thing. Nice little spin move off the rebound there. Again, right place, right time. And he is able to put the ball in the deck, do a nice little spin. Easy. Just way too easy for him. Um, here's a nice little corner, corner three for uh, 24 for Ball State. They were able to keep in it for a bit here. Uh, this was kind of a break here where Dickinson turns it over on trying to get livers. Number two with a nice cut to the basket, kicks it out for the three, and that goes in. They were, they were putting on a run at the end of the half here. Here's another basket, uh, number two, uh, hit going for the three, and livers with a foul. That's the second game in a row he's had a foul and a three-pointer, just a little sloppy. Mike Smith, though, again, continuing to impress with his drive on that one. Uh, number five here with a nice pass to number 12 down low for Ball State. Then you have uh, up top here, you have Davis um, passing off to Livers, who hits a nice nice little contested mid-range jump shot. His mid-range game is just on point. You know, I said he had an efficient day, and he was eating from mid-range. He was just able to hit all of these. Uh, nice pass here in the corner, but uh, this is a couple things. I want to actually go back on this. Couple, We saw this last game against Oakland as well. Let me get to this play. Uh, Davis just has to do a better job establishing himself, finding that contact and uh, not allowing this guy around him. So I just want to see Davis do a little bit better on that in the future. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, again, 13-4 uh, scoring run at this point. Davis just gets beat there, um, and they're able to kind of get a little bit momentum. Here's a really nice job from John, so I wanted to point this out. So he's attacking the paint here, right? Watch what this does uh, to these three Ball State defenders. They all crash on him, right? Livers does a nice job vacating that empty spot. And again, mid-range jumper, he's just finding a way to get those to go. 
um, drive here for number five. Nice little finger roll uh, layup from him there. And like I said, they were able to pull within seven here. Uh, here's uh, another layup down low. Just a little sloppy defense for Michigan early on. Now into the second half, mid-range jumper there pulls Ball State within five. Um, that was about as close as they would get. Here's Davis again putting on the spin cycle. Uh, this poor guy just kind of stumbling off into the abyss as Davis lays it in. He's great offensively. Um, you know, defensively, he leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, but offensively, he's got some moves. Here's Franz with a really tough shot in the wing there. Um, Eli Brooks with a really nice dish here to Davis who throws it down. Just really good timing on this. As soon as that guy commits here, you can see just a little no-look bounce pass to Davis. He's able to put it in. Uh, it's good to see. Um, you know, Ball State was able to hang around a little bit. They're still down nine, but a way up there. Here's Mike Smith driving to the basket. Nice little fadeaway jumper mid-range. Uh, and Michigan started rolling here. Uh, nice little dish here to Eli Brooks on the left wing for three. Puts that down at Michigan uh, up 11 here. Again, Mike Smith uh, driving really quickly. Give it out to Franz, who has plenty of time to knock down the corner three. Uh, you know, you do have this is actually a really nice move for 34, but look at the defense for uh, Dickinson. Like, this is opponent independent, I would say, where not much better you can do if you're Dickinson in this uh, scenario. He, he's putting a nice body on him, not following there. That's just a good shot from Ball State, but Michigan still continuing to impress. Dickinson on the other side with a tip in off of a Franz miss, um, and Michigan's just pulling away here a little bit. So, it's a good job from. Uh, Dickinson to be there for the tip back and again what can you say about this true freshman right he's just impressing game and game again here's uh, Livers with a, a pull up here notice how both guys off of this screen here you can see they both try to uh, they're worried about Dickinson going down into the paint right so they're uh, both vacating that to cover um, to cover Dickinson and that just leaves too much room for Livers to put down the jump shot there and Michigan's rolling so uh, Livers at the top of the key here. He's driving, a little hesitation there, floater, uh, and, and he was he was elite. Here's what I really like. All right, look at the score right here, right? <laughs> this is 64-48. You got Michigan up 16. You got Shawnee Brown here forcing a turnover, and he's like he's excited about it, right? So it doesn't matter with Shawnee Brown who gets a three on this next possession. He plays with a ton of fire throughout the game. I just, I just really like to see that from him. Uh, good defense here from Dickinson, getting the block and the turnover there. Goes off number five. Um, again, true freshman showing out. He struggled a little bit late. He got taken out. I think maybe fatigue was a part, but uh, overall, Dickinson, again, just a huge game. Eli Brooks, again, with the drive. He's able to knife through, get a basket there. He looks smooth. Um, and then here, I really like this play a lot. So you notice right at the beginning of this play, he's pointing to Dickinson to go uh, set a pin over here, right? So he sets a pick here. Here comes Livers. And then that's going to look at the space that it creates for Livers here, right? So I think this is a matchup where you have number two on Livers, and that guy just can't athletically keep up with Livers. Uh, so you have this initial pick here for Dickinson. He's going to turn around, and there's just, look at that lane, right? He's going to wall off 34. Dickinson's going to wall off 34. And look at all that space that creates for Livers. And that's just an easy dunk. He throws it down with authority. That's just a great play, and I, I really like to see that. Um, I mean, at this point, I'm just showing, giving Ball State a bone with a couple baskets here, three-pointer, mid-range jumper, and... Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're doing okay, but you're down by 20 or so. Another mid-range jumper for Livers. And uh, he didn't miss many of these, I'll tell you that much. I'm including this. So this is a, a, a bad miss from Johns, and I'll tell you why uh, later on. I'll show I'll show something for that. But uh, obviously not the, not the best shot for uh, Johns here. You want to take that one back. Um, but I'll, I'll show you why. So good rebound from Johns there, delivering to Livers. And this is one of my favorite uh, plays of the game where Johns finds a cutting Livers Livers notices he has two guys coming on him, dishes it off to uh, to Dickinson, and he just throws it down. So really good vision all around there. Um, good rebound, good dish to Livers, good pass to Dickinson for the throwdown. And then here, who who is this guy, right? Number 44. Who's who's this guy? Michigan getting some walk-on time now. You, you also had Jace out there, Zeb. You had Adrian Nunez. Uh, had, had a bunch of young guys out there. And you got Jaron Faltz here getting a basket. Nice little rotate, little hook shot. Bench goes crazy. You got Shawnee Brown flexing. You got Franz. Dickinson is like a like Christmas morning, like a child on Christmas morning, jumping up and down. <laughs> so it's just a really good moment. And watch the little wink. See that? Ready? Boom. Little wink to the <laughs> wink to the bench. So that's great to see. I'm glad Michigan, you know, was able to have one of these games early to get these uh get these guys uh some playing time. So 
that's pretty much it for this game. Uh, again, really comfortable win for Michigan. So going back to that missed uh, that missed three pointer from Johns, he uh, came out after the game and was repping some threes uh, with some, I assume, GAs or something. But he came back after uh, after the game was over and repping those. We saw it the game prior with Terrence Williams. Uh, I believe, repping some free throws. So this is becoming like a nice little cool tradition for Michigan players who maybe struggled in a certain area, getting more reps after the game. You know, not only are you happy with the win, but you're trying to improve yourself. That just shows a good culture, shows a good um, a good mindset for a lot of these players, and that's just great to see. Um, so, yeah, looking at the stats here, Livers was just huge in this game, right? 21 points, 8 for 11 field goal, 1 for 2, 3 point, um, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal. Um, Wagner had a bounce back. He had 14 points for four on four of six shooting one for one on three point. He had six rebounds, second most on the team, two assists and a steal himself. And then Dickinson again, what can you say more about him? 12 points, five for nine field goals, 11 rebounds and a block. So he's got a double double in his third game. Again, can't say enough about Dickinson. So what did we learn in this one? Wagner still Wagner, right? Maybe he didn't take the step up uh, that we expected him to just yet but he's showing like he's showing flashes of some improvements there so need a few games to settle in you know it's still such an intriguing offensive weapon on defense that length is showing out everywhere so i i'm still really high on him it just maybe takes a couple games for him to get settled um livers all conference potential right i think maybe not big 10 player of the year i think you got garza of iowa who's probably got that locked down if not illinois has a couple great players so Um, maybe not, you know, big 10 player of the year, but like all conference, I think livers can get there, uh, without a doubt. His mid range was just lethal in this game. And that's, uh, that's great to see. And then finally, uh, I think, what did we learn? Rep the zone, right? Oakland, uh, kind of exposed Michigan a little bit in, uh, their offense against the zone that Oakland provided there. Uh, ball States, obviously not athletically adept enough to handle Michigan in man to man. Um, but I think it, you know, maybe showed that Michigan needs to rep the zone a little bit more, have a little bit more variety, uh, against those defensive attacks. And then I guess the other one would be like the three point shooting wasn't great in this game. I think it was below 30% overall, but Michigan was still able to get it done, right? Tons of points in the paint, but something to watch moving forward is just the three point shooting. Um, it's nice to see, nice to see they don't depend on that, right? With livers, uh, really able to shoot mid range. Mike Smith's able to get a basket. You have a lot of guys as well who are in the eight to 10 points per game range that doesn't rely on three point shooting, but man, this offense can really, really open up if they're able to, uh, get above where they are and three point shooting. So that's all I got again. Uh, follow the channel, subscribe. If you haven't already, we're so close to 2000, uh, really appreciate all the support thus far. Michigan basketball highlights going to continue coming up this uh, Sunday um, against UCF, I believe. And then you got Michigan hockey highlights, got a couple videos to put out that. So make sure you pay attention to the channel. Um, And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. As always, go blue.